I'm here today with David Gillespie, the author of new book, The Sweet Poison Quit Plan, which is all about how giving up sugar can change your life, including help you lose weight. So David, what happened when you gave up sugar? Well, I, I lost six stone. Uh, and the most incredible part about that from my perspective is that was 10 years ago and I've stayed the same weight ever since, which was something really unusual for my life because every year before that, I've been steadily gaining weight. So what benefits can we get from giving up sugar? Well, the most obvious benefit is that you'll lose weight. Um, most people who, who give up sugar lose weight. Some lose it immediately, some it takes a little bit longer, but they all eventually lose it. The best thing about it is because it's not a diet, it's just a plan for how to live the rest of your life. And it's really just one simple rule, which is don't eat sugar. Uh, and because it's that simple, most people can do it long term without any difficulty at all and find that the weight stays off. So people often talk about a withdrawal period with sugar. Is that true? And how long can we expect to take while we're craving sugar? So the withdrawal period is very, very similar to withdrawing from other addictive substances like nicotine. So people who've given up smoking say that it's exactly the same as when they gave up smoking. There's a two to four week period where they experience withdrawal symptoms. So that's headache, depression, mood swings, uh, cravings, intense cravings. Uh, usually it feels like hunger or thirst um, during the withdrawal period. The good thing about it is it ends. Fantastic. So show me some ways that we can get sugar out of our lives and um, get through this sort of two to four week period. Okay, so the, the first thing you've got to do is make sure you don't have any sugar in the house because if it's there, you'll eat it. So you've got to take all the juices out of the fridge, you've got to take all the obvious sources of sugar out of the cupboard, you take away the breakfast cereals which are full of sugar, take away the snacks that are full of sugar. Uh, once you're in a sugar-free environment, then you've got to deal with the cravings. Uh, and, and that's all about having a plan. So some of the examples that we've got here is often people say, well, I'm just going to go for a coffee. And what they mean is they're going to have a coffee and a muffin. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody just goes for coffee. Uh, if you know that that's what you do, uh, then plan for it. Know, okay, I am going to want that muffin when I get there, no matter how good I feel I'm being, and have a plan for it. So say, I need to have something to eat when I have my coffee, so maybe order up some buttered toast or something like that that doesn't have any sugar in it at all, or very, very little, and then you've got a plan. Similarly, when you're sitting down at night, plonked on the couch in front of the TV, you might think, oh, I'll just have a bit of chocolate. Yeah, it's a reward for the end of the day. A good plan there is have something else that you consider a reward so that you can still have the relaxation at the end of the day, but instead of the chocolate, have some nuts or something, you know, and, and, and get some really nice ones, some expensive ones, ones that you would consider a treat uh, and have those on standby instead. Good to stick them by the jug as well so that when you're having a, making yourself a cup of tea, instead of reaching for the biscuit tin, have some, have some nuts there and just have a, have a chew on those instead. On a Friday night, I like buying myself a Magnum yep. and having it, I'm sure there's lots of women out there that are the same, and having it as my treat while I watch my crime drama on a Friday night. So do you have any tips for how I can wean myself off that? So I had exactly the same issue with exactly the same <laughs> ice cream. So not Big ad for Magnum. And it wasn't just Friday night either. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. No, it might have been some other nights as well. Just whenever you're relaxing in front of the television mm. and you think, oh, I could really go, you know, especially the little mini ones. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Three so of them. What I did was I, I really considered salted macadamia nuts to be a real treat. And they're kind of expensive, but they, I really like them. So mm -hmm. instead of the magnums, I would buy those and have them around. Still sit down, relax, have those nuts. Um, and it was still a treat. It was still a relaxation. It was something I would still look forward to. Uh, and pretty soon you don't miss the magnum. Thanks, David. That was really useful. So you can find out more about all this in David's book, The Sweet Poison Quit Plan. Mm -hmm.